continuing on my travels around Portugal today, I'm in the beautiful little village of Goix. There's lots of river beaches around these parts and um, because we're in central Portugal you don't necessarily get obviously the coastline so river beaches are really popular places for people to come and visit. They're really clean, they have lots of amenities, they have bars and restaurants and all kinds of things, fun activities to do and it's, it's a really nice safe place to come and just chill out if you want to and enjoy the sunshine, get your feet wet and get a little bit cool. Mind you, right now it is hot in the city tonight. Just been to a smaller river beach, pretty nice. Lots of people around, but it's not too crazy busy. The next one is a little bit more refined in the respect that I don't think there's a bar or anything like that. It's just um, a main sort of river with uh, places to have picnics and things like that. So not as many amenities, but still a wonderful place to go and visit on this uh, really gorgeous day. So looking forward to it. Let's get a look in the next one. Back at another beautiful river beach here in Goish, and uh, wow, I mean, it's so hot right now, but look at this beautiful wheel going on the back. Mm -hmm. <laughs> All right, day three, don't have the ZV1, ZV1 with me today, but I thought, well, I've got the phone. It's in cinematic mode, it looks pretty decent, why not? Best phone with you is what you have, right? And here we have a beautiful castle on this latest trail, so interested to see. And they can let you in for free here. Um, be nice to have a quick look at what it's like. On this road to a uh, schist village, and schist village is just basically the stone that it's made out of and everything like that, so uh, I'll be interested to see. Maybe it's abandoned, maybe it's spooky, maybe you'll see some people there. Who knows, let's have a look. Right, halfway, well not even halfway, a little bit of way there, it's a bit warm. Behind me is a ridiculous water pipe and it goes all the way down there. Now that's a view. You know you're high up when you're right at the top of where the electrical pylons are. And there's a big water pipe. And right down the bottom there's a pump station. And an old couple are looking after it, maintaining it. Crazy. <laughs> All oh, right, so this is a, a difficult, difficult climb. Just come from, I don't know, lots of different rocks uh, to this schist village. It's quite a long way and it's, um, as you can see, I'm, I'm sweating. But I think the village that we're going to is actually all the way up there, which I'll show you right now. So at the top of this hill, what you saw me before, is the uh, Schist Villages. And the Schist Villages is referred to as the type of rock or slate that these actual villages were made out of back in the 12th and 13th century. And there's a small network of them around the local area where I am. And it's quite uncommon to Portugal, so there's only a sort of a network of around seven villages in total around this area. And currently I'm at one of them, which is fascinating. It's a long way up but uh, it's well worth getting up here. And there's still more to explore, so uh, let's do it. This is a turn up for the books. You end up going through a schist village 
in the middle of nowhere and you end up at a bar. Bingo. What's cool about these Schist villages is that they're, um, they're all being renovated. So a lot of them are up for sale, so you can buy your genuine Schist village, I guess, that's been renovated. I guess they're renovated based on the traditional building methods, using the same materials in the same way, hopefully with a few more modern cons, like electricity and interwebs and things like that. Pretty cool, though. It looks like I found a little friend. Hey, buddy. It's hot, it's sticky, and that's just me. It's uh, a wonderful day, actually, just going to these uh, schist villages. There's so many, I think. Ventured out and at least gone to around two or three of them. All very different, all sort of in different states of repair and so on. Some are hotels, some are like Airbnbs, some are private dwellings, there's a mixture. And it's really cool to see all these different types. There's beautiful flowers. These villages are wonderful and are uh, just unique to Portugal. I've never seen anything like this before. So if you ever come over to Portugal, look up Schist villages and make a few stops. There's a couple of hikes. There's definitely some, some trails that you have to go on to get to these villages. Some are in the mountains, of course, but they're all worth it. They're all worth it. So definitely come down, see these Schist villages. Anyway, thanks for watching. As you can see, it was on the ZV-1. I hope I didn't deter your viewing pleasure. And obviously this is vertical video, but it don't matter as it's all good fun. Speak to you soon. Oh, that's a lovely knocker. Mm -hmm.